Good everyone. My name is Graphics. In this video, we want to construct a pyramid. In our previous video, we constructed a cone. And the major difference between a cone and a pyramid is that what? A pyramid has a tetrahedral base. The base of a pyramid can either be a square, an hexagon, a triangle, a rectangle, any other shape aside from what? From a square, from a circle. Once the base of a pyramid is a circle, you don't call it a pyramid, you call it what? A cone. Now, if you look at the top right corner of the screen, we have a square pyramid. Why is it a square pyramid? Because the base of the pyramid is a square. And what you do first of all, you start from the base, right? You start by drawing the base. Now what I'll do is, I'm going to draw the base of my pyramid this way. I'm going to draw an horizontal line this way, right? And I'm also going to draw a vertical line also this way. So when I place it this way, I'll be able to draw a vertical line this way. All right? Now, if you look at the base of it, we're having 64. That is all true. We have what? 64. We know a square, all the sides are equal. So if one side of the square is 64, means all the sides is what 64. So I'm going to take my compass and I'm going to measure 64 on my compass this way zero this is 32 which is the half of 64 right and i will place it here then i'm going to mark up 64 all side i'll mark what 32 right so this is 32 32 32 all through now take my pencil right and I will draw an horizontal line this way and I'll take it here also. I will draw another horizontal line this way and standing it here, I will complete it to be my square from here to here is a square and from here to here also is a square and I'll close them up. From this point to this point, and this point to this point. Can you see that? This is the square that we have here, right? So from here, now you project the edge you've drawn out the the square just as shown in the top right corner the next thing is for you to draw the edge of the square right this is what we have so at any given radius you should connect the two ends here the thick line this is what we have here right that given there is 54 so i'm going to measure 54 from the base of the pyramid so we have 54 this is 54 here right and i'm going to connect from this point to this point with my faint line and I'll connect from this point to this point with my faint line, right? And um, we are told that this is um, truncated at an angle of 30 degree. So when I place my compass, my C square this way, or my T square, I will measure at an angle of 30 degree, but the height at which it was concreted is what is 20, given to be 
20 millimeters so when I measure 20 from here this is 20 at this point right so at that point I'll draw a line that's going to touch this so this are at this point that is where it's, it's truncated so I'll place it this way and I will truncate it at this part here so this is the pyramid that is being truncated at this point here right this is what we have here now the next thing that um, we are to do here is to place your compass now if you notice something this will be my point one point two point three and what point four now if you notice if i play this is not the true length of what of this pyramid right this is not the true length of the pyramid why am i saying that if i place my compass from the center here to this edge here right and i should draw an arc this way right you discover that this is the true and the entire base of this um plan so if i project it to this point here at this point where to get the true length at this point where it meets the horizontal line of the plan of this pyramid right i'm going to um extend it at an angle 90 degree upward you can see that so at this point here i'm going to now extend the base this way right so where the base meets here i will now connect it to the center here so from here to here is actually the true length of this pyramid right so what i will do now is i will now take my compass and i'll place it at this apex point here i'll take it to the base here of that true length this way this way here you can see that and i'm going to draw a semicircle and then draw an arc this way this is the arc i have drawn that again so once i've done that so once i've done that here let me bring this down a little bit so once i've done that i will now take the measurement from here this will be one so i'll mark it round so here will be my initial point one here will be two we have three we have four and we have back to one you can see that what i did is from one two three four back to one so after doing that i will now generate different lines to touch those points so let's put it one two three four one so i'll now generate draw lines from the apex of that pyramid to touch each of those points that i marked on the i'll mark it this way you can see that I'll do it this way each of these points you can see that so after i've done that so since it is square all the sides are equal i will now control a straight line that will connect them from this to this then from this to this back to this you can see that so after i've done that now the next thing will now be since if you notice this i've extended this to touch the true length of this 
this line I extended here is the true length. So from that point, I'll take my compass, right? From this apex point here to that point here, and I'm going to draw another up this way. Can I see that? Just like I did in my previous video. In terms of um, a cone, you can click on this link in order to watch the video. Now, proceed. Now, if you notice this, this is my line 1 and this is my point 1. So, 1, 2 are on the same line. So, where this meets 1 is at this point. Right? This is 1, 1. Then, 2, 2. You can see that? I will join them together. This is 1 one right this is one one and this is another one one here so where the um the circle of one meets one is at this point right so we have one here how good then the next one again is a line of what the line of two so if i move this this is two here and again we have two to so move forward. I'll project this. If you notice this, if I project it this way, it's meeting this at this point there. Yeah? So I'm now going to extend this to touch that circumference that we have here. I mean, this side here. Right? That will be, sorry, I mean this, this one here. So that point will be what my three comma four. This will be three comma four, right? And I'll place it this way from that point three here. I will draw that semi circle. So where it meets, let's see. For three, three. This is the line of three where three meet three is at this point. You can see that this is one. This is two, this is three, then the next one is four, where four also meets four on that same line is here. This is four here, right? Then back to one. So I'll just take my meter rule and I'll connect this point this way. This then to this, then this will come to this, then this will come to this. Then this will come back to this and I'll close it up. Can see that? So I can actually join this side here. This is a square and join this side here and this side here. Can I see that? So, this is the development of it. And if I actually like, right, I can actually draw the openings. If the down is open, this is what we are going to have the development of what? Of the first tomb of a pyramid, right? And this is how the development will look like. And along the video, we solve other problems involving the cone which you can also click on the link at the top right corner here in order to watch a video that will show you how to draw the development of the first tomb of a cone right in different shapes and size so you can actually click that link you can see there right so this is what we have here and we're not done now how would the plan look like if you're told to draw the plan right this is the development when you cut it open this is what we have here now the plan, how the plan look like? Now we have this meets two here. I'm going to extend it downward this way. You can see that. Then where it meets here also, I will extend it downward this way. You can see that. So I will now draw it diagonal in this manner, passing through the center. Draw another diagonal in this manner, passing through the center this way 
right so where this is a line of one and two so where one meets one and where two meet two you can see that similarly where four meet four and where three meet three because this line you're seeing is three and four so three and four where they meet you will have and i'm going to join them together this way you know we have and uh, this is what we have then we have this and we have this you can see that so this is how it is when you truncate a pyramid this is what you are going to be having this is from the plan this is the side elevation and this is what the development of what we have here so if you have um, actually if you have found this video helpful right please don't forget to like subscribe and um, also share the video thanks for watching